First, as a quick aside, we can simplify our integral like this by using the odd symmetry of the sine function and the even symmetry of the function one over x. And so now we just let h of t be this integral here, where our e to the negative tx ensures convergence for t greater than or equal to zero. And now when we take the derivative of our function with respect to t, like we do on this right hand side, it lets us get rid of this one over x, which is really our Feynman magic. Then we can solve this integral by first using Euler's formula for sine x and distributing our e to the negative tx term to simplify like we do on the right hand side and now wait a minute we can just use the OG formula for the integral of e to the negative ax from 0 to infinity which after algebra gives us our right hand side and now we're almost done right we can just integrate the derivative like so to get h of t which is our classic inverse tan plus constant hustle now to find c we look at the behavior of h of t as t approaches infinity and since we had our e to the negative tx we know that this limit goes to 0 and by the properties of arctan that as t goes to infinity infinity, arctan goes to pi over 2. And so we have c equal to pi over 2. So now to get our original integral back, all we can do is just find 2 times h of 0, since at 0, our additional exponential term cancels out. And yeah, we're done.